Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I'm about to head out to work, but I wanted to quickly share a journal that I made for a friend, and I have to take it with me today, so I wanted to just quickly show it. I love the way this turned out. Um, my friend loves turtles, and she collects little turtles, and I thought, well, I will just make her a journal that's full of beautiful images of turtles and tortoises. A turtle lives mostly in water, and a tortoise is mostly on the land. So I'm just crazy about this first little charm here. Uh, and you know, I think Alejandrina might have sent me this metal piece. She sent me some beautiful metal pieces a while back, uh, probably a year ago, it's been a while. But I pulled one of those out and cut out a tiny image of a turtle and put that in there and just glued that down. And then on the outside we have a little fish charm and we have a sea turtle. I hope you can see those okay. And I love to do the denim closure. There, that kind of closure is always fun. So. Uh, bear in mind that there will be something in that pocket. There will be a card there. It's just not um, complete yet, and I want to write in it. So put some frames in here, little paper frames around a few of the turtles. I think that's so sweet. Um, she also likes bees. That's Ocean Conservancy. That's a beautiful photograph. I'm just going to flip quickly. Um, Quite a few people who uh, love this friend as much as I do picked out pieces of paper to go in here. So it is kind of a group effort. And let me tell you before I flip another page, I did find a beautiful kit online with turtle images. It's just beautiful. I'm going to put a link to that. Uh, I'm so glad that was out there. It's really the only one like it I could find, and I needed a quick kit for turtles, and it was there, so I, this one is really, really beautiful. There will be cards in these other pockets as well. Just all sorts of little playing cards and things like that. Stickers, we found stickers and paper that she would like. It's got kind of a nature slash botanical slash turtle theme. So let's just go through there. See, these pages are just, just gorgeous, the way they're designed. Um, I found some handmade paper recently, and it's really delicate. So I glued these uh, printed vintage images on top of that, and then I used fabric to lay against the spine. It's glued in so that these pages hopefully don't rip out. Look at this kit though. Isn't that beautiful? It's just, it's kind of got a, um, some of the pages have almost a steampunk feel. You, you'll see that when we get to one page in particular. And uh, I believe I have some of Sheila from Boho Daydream, some of Sheila's trims in here. I need to order from her again soon. She has the most beautiful uh, boho fabrics. So that's one of the pages and you can just see calendar pages, all this bright beautiful paper. I just love it so much and it's, it's interesting. It's really beautiful the way this turned out. If I had picked all of the paper myself it probably wouldn't look this way. It wouldn't look this way. But every person, and there were about 10 different people who picked paper for this. So we've just got a mix, and I told them, don't, don't worry about making anything match. Pick what you think would be nice in a journal about turtles and for this particular person. Here's a little playing card with the bees on the back. I've added some of these to my um, card inventory as well. And then we have, there's a turtle charm there. Did I, I think, did I miss this one? There was one up here too. It has three little turtles swimming on the side. I love this paper. It does look like a tortoise shell. A little bit of glue there. But I, again, I love, love, love the way this turned out. 
There's another one of these pages with the fabric reinforcement and another vintage image. Isn't it beautiful? And there's a sticker someone picked out for the journal. Here's the center. So here we just go on the other side with all of this beautiful paper. Pull that apart a little bit. There's another vintage image and more of the fabric to reinforce this paper. Just a beautiful, beautiful book. I knew I had something to slip under there. Oh, this, look at this. Under the waves, diving in deep waters, a tail. And oh, look at the people on the ocean floor. I, I love this. And the turtle right there. She's going to love this page, too. I think that will be one of her favorites. That reminded me of the night sky. I love to go out on the beach at night and look at the water. And there is that third turtle charm. Really pretty. We have all the, the coral or sea plants. And oh, I love that one too. And got a few strings there. I'll just leave those. Yeah, I gotta move on through here. I could just sit and, and pour over this thing. I love it so much, but I have to go to work, which I love that too. There will be more cards added. So any of these empty pockets are going to be filled. I love this. This was in the kit as well. And again, that's reinforcing some of this paper. So I just printed that and tore around the edges. And these are some pretty playing cards. Galapagos, and I have quite a few of these added to my collection as well. So there is the Jack of Clubs, and we've got the giant tortoise there. I'm definitely going to make a journal like this again with this, um, and there will be something in that pocket. Just love these cards. That's the Ocean Conservancy as well. And then there's the Marine Turtle. Again, that's the Galapagos cards. And I love that. That is from worldwildlife.org. And we have a little mermaid in the very back. And I just love this design. That almost looks like sea urchins or something from the top. But that's just a blank card. Um, that's a that's from 1979. The the card is, and the actual image. It's a kimono sleeve um, from Japan, 1661 to 1672. Tie dye and embroidery on silk. Wow, that that's really pretty. Okay, so that is it. It's got my little stamp on the back, and with that, I am out the door. Bye for now.